Now, St. Patrick's strategy was very clever. What you do is you convert a king in a local area. Now, once you convert the king, by default, you convert everybody else. So his congregations grew quite rapidly, quite quickly. He's famous for using the shamrock to explain the Trinity of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, all being one, essentially. That's really interesting for a lot of, it, a lot of different ways. In Irish mythology, three is a magic number. You'll often see um, trees or combinations of trees. Three, six, nine, fifteen, that kind of stuff, in a lot of things. So it was clever to use three because people could relate to it. They, they would see it had mystical connotations, they would see it had direct relation. Now, when converted, people often believe that Christianity and paganism are very, very different. They're not. They're almost identical. Essentially, pagan believes many gods, lots of deities. So they pray for God for good weather, they pray to a different God for good luck, they pray for a different God for a good harvest, or whatever the case may be. Christians pray to different saints for the same reasons. 